Problem 42, it says, which of the following letters has both line symmetry and point symmetry? Now remember, point symmetry just is reflection symmetry. Can you spin it and it would land on itself? So we want to be able to take something. Let's take, for example, if you had a Mr. Mr. What's that? Square. Line symmetry. Yes, it has line symmetry because I can go right through it. And it has point symmetry because if I spin it 90 degrees, it's going to land right back on itself as it turns. So which of these letters? Well, let's look which ones have line symmetry of some nature. D has line symmetry right here. But if I take it and I spin it, will he land on himself? No, he will not until you spin it 360 degrees. That's not going to work. What about M? Well, M has nice line symmetry right down through here, vertical line of symmetry. But if you spin it, you spin it 180 degrees, boom, it gives you the letter W. That doesn't do any good. Well, what about S? S actually has point symmetry. If you take the letter S, spin it in the center, it's going to end up landing back on itself in 180 degrees. However, it doesn't have any line symmetry. Sometimes students say, well, what about right there horizontal? What happens there is this point ends up here, and then it starts going back like that. You end up with a backwards S. Looks like it's going to be H. Well, let's see. If I take H, you can see if you spin 180 degrees, it lands right back like it is. And it also has a vertical line that was poorly done, a vertical line of symmetry right down the center. So the answer is J-H. It has both line symmetry and point symmetry.